Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to another recipe. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a carnivore flatbread with legit three ingredients, technically two, but there is optional ingredients that you can add if you choose to. Again, again, they're optional. So I'm saying get up because it's all in one day. I'm recording videos for you guys um, since some of you guys did request that I make you guys some carnivore recipes um, and I said sure I'll be more than glad to try to take care of you guys so um, this is going to be bread. what you're going to need is literally cottage cheese one cup two eggs and if you want the butter is optional you don't have to put it on there I want to give it a tasty flavor and I also go in here I'm going to add a few parsley flakes um, and then I wanted to add a little bit of granulated garlic to give it a little bit of flavor. Again, these are well, these ones are optional and uh, I want to give it spice so I'm going to go with some cayenne pepper. Alright, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to measure out one cup of the cottage cheese. This is a brand I'm choosing to use. I find it that it's the cleanest. 13 grams of protein. Extra creamy, small curd, pure natural, Daisy. Not sponsored, I just like them because it's just literally the cultured skim, milk, cream, and salt. And then live and active cultures. No garbage. See it? Okay, so what you're gonna do is one cup, and we're gonna Put the two eggs and we're gonna mix it so give me one segundo let me measure out the one cup okay so legit all you're gonna do is dump it if i hope you guys have one nutribullet it so i'm gonna go ahead and dump this out here cameraman mr pinguino's here to assist thank you so much for anytime. your assistance anytime okay so you can stay Right there where I pour this out. And I'm going to get into my drawer. I have my handy dandy spatula to assist. Okay. Now legit, this, this is all you need for the batter. Sorry about my son being so loud in his cup of ice. Okay, you're going to do one egg. Two eggs. You're gonna put the lid. This is straight carnivore here. So I'm gonna go ahead because this is gonna get loud. All you're gonna do is mix. Okay? Be back. Okay, my friends. So ta-da, you see that? There's the batter right there. It's a little watery, but I promise you that's all you need. Um, I was thinking of doing a little bit more, so now what are you going to do with the butter, if you want the butter flavor, is you're just going to grab a little bit of the butter right on top of the parchment paper. And don't mind the little dish, I use them just to hold down the parchment paper because you guys know how parchment paper gets, gets, gets crazy. So, and this is the optional ingredient. I don't honestly think you need it. But it'll give it that delicious flavor. Okay, let me check this batter out because it does look liquidy. All right, hold on a second. Okay, my friends, so I ended up throwing the batter back in, or putting it back on the Nutribullet just to mix it a little bit more. Now it is going to look a little liquidy but it's kind of like a pancake consistency so mr pinguino if you want to hold my device so i can pour this out look at that so this is going to become a beautiful flatbread and i digged out i have a little spatula but i forgot to rinse it off but it's okay. We can use a big one. I just want everything out. 
and legit just give it a good five minutes right on the Nutribullet if you don't have a Nutribullet I don't know but I would say a blender would work because all you're doing is just mixing the eggs with the cottage cheese okay so that's as clean as I can get it I don't know if I continue scraping if that's gonna work now my oven is preheated already at 320 but we are gonna eventually need 350 for this one and it's gonna be 40 minutes total all right my amigos so now legit this is it right here that's the three ingredients the butter for the bottom the cup of cottage cheese and the two eggs and then you're gonna you know kind of spread it around make it the length that you want this is remember this is your flatbread don't tell nobody don't have anybody tell you what to do that's basically what I was gonna say but I get excited sometimes okay so if that's the shape that you wanted that's awesome there you have it you want to jiggle it a little bit make sure it falls into place now if you want to continue and spread it around and you definitely can to make it wider I'm okay with it like this now I don't need the spatula in the mouth so here's where the op optional items come into play if you want it just plain and that's it that's you're like okay this is what I want plain flat flatbread I don't like plain so I'm gonna throw in a few parsley leaves flakes here dry I mean, you can do like Italian seasoning. Um, I'm okay without it. I'm gonna do a little bit of granulated garlic. Again, these are optional. So these are not part of the actual flatbread. I'm making it because I want flavor in my flatbread. Okay. And I also told you guys I wanted a little bit of spice. So then I have just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper left. And I'm gonna go ahead and Sprinkle some of it on for a little bit of spice since I can't eat my jalapenos since my jalapenos are vegetables or serrano peppers. But then this is how that beautiful flatbread looks like. Now this is going to be before going into the oven. Okay. There's the recipe there. I wrote it down. Bake at 350 for 40 minutes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just... Leave it here, throw it in the oven as soon as it's finished preheating. So, I'll be right back. When okay, amigos, so the oven just went off while I was washing the dishes. I hadn't paid attention that I only had like a few seconds left, but let me show you how this beautiful flatbread turned out. And you tell me what you see when you see this flatbread because I can tell you what I see. All right, amigos, hold on tight. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's super flexible. Let me show you that it's flexible. You see it? How it moves? Okay. Nice and flexible. We're going to leave it here to cool down. But I see a flatbread. It's a woohoo. All right, amigos. So, thank you so much for staying tuned. I'm um, actually watching this video to the end so you can see the delicious flatbread there. And just like you heard me say, stay tuned because I will put together this carnivore pizza for you guys. That way, you guys can enjoy. Sorry, there's a little steam from the um, oven. But okay, my amigos, thank you so much for staying tuned. I hope you guys do try this delicious flatbread. Um, you can cut it into, I guess, four slices. And then, of course, put whatever toppings you want. Put some mayo, some chicken, and make a little chicken flatbread. Uh, some shredded beef. You know, there's so much stuff you can do. Or a delicious pizza. That's what I'm going to make for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned. And again, uh, thank you so much for all your subscriptions thank you for all the likes thank you for all the views i appreciate you guys so much i really do and for all my amigos that watch from minute number one all the way to however long my videos are 
know that I love you guys so much for all your support. I definitely appreciate you guys. It's very late at 10.21 p.m. You saw that correctly. That's p.m. Like legit. Look at that. It's my window. But here I am staying up late making all these delicious meals so that you guys have something delicious to make for your family. And no problema at all whatsoever because it is my day off and I do enjoy cooking. No bother at all. And I appreciate you guys. Uh, please, please, please continue to like my videos so that algorithm continues to move my videos along. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, you do you. And I'll go ahead and do me. And then we'll see you. Bye.